Hi there, Virgo. My name is Kim, and I'm going to do your reading for November the 23rd. Um, I'm going to start off with a few oracle cards, and then we'll do the tarot in the middle and finish with the tea leaves. Um, Virgo, this is for your highest good. We use our angels and spirit guides to help us with our reading so that we do get positive messages and we don't have anything really negative to say on here. Ooh, we got two cards right away. Okay, uh, for those of you that have subscribed, by the way, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And we have Storm Warning. Storm Warning. And Woman Holding a Heart, or you can look at this as the Queen of Cups. So Virgo, community is the issue. Community. Capricorn got that too. Got that same card. Let's put it right here. Then there we go. Okay, storm warning means exactly what it means. It's just the, it's like the calm before the storm. And this could certainly be talking about um, our current life events, not just in your life. It could be talking about the external factors going on. So just be aware that that energy is around you. You don't have to get sucked into it. The woman holding the heart. Uh, that's, like I say, could be Queen of Cups, somebody who is um, very in touch with their emotional side. Uh, they have probably ushy-gushy feelings. They, they're they one of those people that's very sympathetic, very compassionate, very caring. On the opposite side, it can be a, a, a person who is very manipulative because they are so good with mastering their emotions and yours. Let's look at number eight for community, and I will read from the book on this. Uh, okay, essential meaning, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, and knowing your place in this world. This card signifies a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures, and we know that we are all useful to our friends and family. Everyone matters. So it says perhaps you're in a spiritual community or artistic one or um, no matter its form or focus, you will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. No matter what your position in this group, your presence is needed. A presence is needed. It sounds like something with a life purpose to it, doesn't it? Sounds kind of big with the community. <clears throat> Virgo, for Virgo's highest good spirit, if you can help us get a message for Virgo's highest good. I'll do a six card spread. It has the current issue or situation. Have a star and the hermit, you, there you are. Um, it is about the situation, the challenge, and then we'll have spirit advice. Then your past way of dealing with things and your future way of dealing with things as well as an outcome card. This is a nice little spread. It's kind of like a Celtic cross, but not as, um, you know, not, not as detailed. Okay, Virgo, I think we're ready. Okay. Reunion. Celebration, reconciliation with the Three of Cups on the back. Your subject or your um, current, I guess, situation is the Knight of Cups. We could be talking about a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You know, that was talking towards, pointing towards a water sign too. This is somebody who is a little bit more immature than the queen. Um, they do know the right things to say, and they're very charming. They're not as reliable as, like, the queen, I mean, the knight of pentacles um, can be kind of charming to everybody and just say what this person needs to say uh, to please you and others, you know, without regard of whether something is being authentic to themselves. That's just my take on that card today. I don't know why I'm getting that take on it, but... Ace of Swords, this is the, the truth, the clarity that comes out in a situation. Maybe somebody's been acting like this and, and you see the truth in this matter now. 
Maybe, and, and maybe it has to do with a job where somebody might be feeding you a bunch of BS and you finally realize it. Maybe it's a partner or, a, you know, maybe it has to do with that relationship. Advice from spirit. That is your ma big male dominance card. That's your Aries card. The emperor is basically, that's, you know, spirit saying that they want you to take control of things, get a handle on on stuff right now because you are building and and probably responsible for a foundation of some sort something something that uh could crumble honestly if you don't uh, pay attention to it and do something address something take charge be a leader we have the hierophant and the past way of doing things this is really by the book if you're going to do things the hierophant way the card of taurus is really ethical they do things the right way. Um, not all the time because they want to just do things the right way, but sometimes because they just don't want to be in any trouble that causes that, that can cause disruption that that can cause in your life. The future way of dealing with stuff. Two of Wands. This might be a new job. This sometimes suggests a new job for people. But the Two of Wands has a person who's looking at the globe in their hands. So they're focused. They're really focused and intent on what it is that they're wanting um, out of life at this time. And I think that's what Spirit's asking you to do is to be really concise on what it is that you want. Um, you can even fill in little details. It helps to write things down. In the projected outcome, nice. Look, this is the night that I said you'd actually want. <laughs> this is the Knight of Pentacles, and it has nothing to do with the signs. Just that the Knight of Pentacles is your reliable, your sturdy one, your your slow but steady wins the race. Um, you know that there's that quote that anything that is a success overnight usually leaves the same way. Now, I always think of that when I see the Knight of Pentacles and being, you know, a long-term success. You can get that. You can achieve that with the Knight of Pentacles for sure. Okay, let's get you some tea leaves. Just the ones that land on the table, please, because they all fall off. Okay, I think that is probably enough. We have Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. This could deal with some authoritative position too, like the authority. Um, dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Butterfly, a change for the better. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. Okay, Virgo, sending you much love and light. Thank you.